Hey, everybody. Hola. Coach, I asked you last week about your conversations with Montrell and where you should return the ball. 100%. Uh, you said you'd had those. Uh, so do you overemphasize them this week or have them longer conversations? Uh, me and Montrell had a conversation, you know. Um, obviously, whenever you're moving backwards, you don't want to bring the ball out because it takes more speed to generate to get going forward. So uh, as far as the depth, he knows what the depth is, et cetera. We've had a conversation. It's been corrected. Also with that, if he does decide to bring it out, we still have to execute and block. There's no way that he signaled that we were taking a knee, et cetera. So the other 10 guys got to do their job and execute at a high level to at least get him to the 25-yard line. Coach said that uh, Caden Stern is going to be starting at safety this week defensively. Does that change any of his roles on special teams? It does. It does. One hundred percent. I mean, like obviously, we use Caden as a four-core special teams player. Once he starts playing defense, you don't want to wear Caden down, and now you're going down to you know, no disrespect to the other safety, but now you keep going down the line, and you're going down the line. Um, obviously, he's starting for a reason, so we will take care of him as far as special teams go. Absolutely. On, on returns, what is the key to guys blocking better? Um. <laughs> You know, and, and, and this is just my mindset and my mentality. It's about a want to, right? Uh, you have a guy that you're responsible of blocking. I told those guys to take it personal. Let's, let's say that you were back there returning the ball. What would you do to block uh, differently if you were returning the ball? So I stress the emphasis of closing to your man, getting hands on your man, making contact, trying to stymie that guy so that he doesn't continue downhill, and then driving your feet on contact, sustaining your block throughout the uh, entire play. That, that's the big thing about it. And not second-guessing yourself. A lot of guys are overthinking things instead of just playing football. It's football at the end of the day. It's about tackling. It's about blocking. It's about executing at a high level consistently. Can you take us through the sort of game day procedure that, that you go through with Brandon in terms of communicating where he feels good from? I mean, is it one number? This is where I'm good from. Is it this is the edge and a, a different number? Or how does that work? Obviously, um, in, in every stadium, the wind blows differently per end zone. So it's never going to be the same mark uh, going to the left as it would be going to the right. Brandon goes out there. He kicks the ball. He feels comfortable. He feels conf confident. We also, myself and Coach Mala, out there monitoring where he's kicking the ball from. Uh, obviously, he had the leg. He just pulled the ball, right? Um, everybody knows that he's a, a good kicker. He's a, a quality kicker. 64 yards, 46-yard line was the line for us versus Seattle. We were confident in Brandon making that kick, or we wouldn't have sent him out there. It just so happened that he didn't make the kick. But you got to live with that now, right? Was that the line of um, desperation, like that's the furthest we could go, or was that the? 100%. 100%. You always get down to a, a line where he feels, you know, uh, this is a must-have-it type field goal. And in that situation, it was a must-have-it. Yeah, we could have gone for it on fourth down and all that type of things. But again, the decision was to send him out there because we felt confident in him making the field goal. It just didn't work out that night. Did you think he did, and the whole process worked as, it, as well as it could have, um, and it just, you know, just barely missed? Or is there anything that Brandon or anybody else could have done that? I don't think so. I mean, you know, obviously they called a timeout on the first one, right? So he can get a gauge, in my opinion. When you call a timeout and the kicker still goes through his operation, now as a kicker, I'm figuring out, oh, man, I missed that to the left a little bit or I missed it short a little bit. Now I need to adjust on this next kick so that I make it. Again, no disrespect to Brandon, no disrespect to the operation. It just didn't happen on that day. But we felt confident in sending him out there. We did, 100%. Brandon said post game that he uh, appreciated that y'all had the faith in him because there's times that coaches maybe haven't let him take as, as long kicks as he'd want, but he says he has to make them or else he's not going to get those chances again. So how does that? How does that, that go? is absolutely correct. We all know that winning, <laughs> winning games is the most important thing, right? Um, we're, we're not going to go out there and just say, all right, uh, the the mark is 46 yards, 48 yards, and then we keep missing those kicks and keep sending them out there. We're definitely not going to do that because we're in the business of winning games. That's the only way you stay around. That's the only way you stay employed. That's the only way you get to where you want to go, and that's the Super Bowl. We want to win games. And just so we're all aware, that was one game out of 17 games. We have a lot of time to improve and get to where we need to be by the end of the season. I'm assuming a lot of players tell coaches, I can do this, I can do that. You know, they have confidence in themselves. Right. To what degree do you believe in their confidence or what degree of reality do you have to lay, lay it to them? Again, when you see it in pregame and you see them kick the ball out here, and I know that the, you know, uh, 
it's different kicking the ball here than other places. But when you see him make some of those field goals, then, then you're confident in his ability to do it. There is no way myself, Coach Hackett, Coach Mao, anyone else would have said, hey, Brandon, go kick this 64-yard field goal if we didn't think he was going to make it. We know how important it was to win that game. All the expectations of us winning that game, all the pressure on us to win that game, we wanted to win that game. We thought that we were going to leave with the score of 19 to 17. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.